Well, I always like to use the metaphor of an orange. I love the orange. An orange is a simple metaphor. You take this orange and you squeeze it as hard as you can squeeze it. And you ask yourself, what will come out? And what comes out when you squeeze an orange? Orange juice. Never, no matter how many times you squeeze it, will apple juice come out. There's no mistakes. You'll never get grapefruit juice out of this thing, ever. The only thing you'll ever get out of it is orange juice. And the next question is why? Why when you squeeze an orange, as hard as you can squeeze it, does orange juice come out? And I asked that question up in Toronto one time, there's a little girl sitting right in the front row. She said, that's dumb. <laughs> it's a, it, she said, that's what's inside. It has to come out. I said, well, that's the answer. <laughs> you are really smart. And she smiled and she thought that was great. But that's the truth. The reason that orange juice comes out when you squeeze it is because that's what's inside. Now you extend the metaphor and someone squeezes you. That is, someone says something about you that you don't like. Someone behaves towards you in a way that you find offensive. Somebody does something or says something to you that you feel hurt by. And out of you comes anger, hatred, bitterness, tension, fear, anxiety, stress. And immediately you say, the reason that comes out of me is because of how he said it or the way that she said that or because they did that. But the truth is, the reality is, that what comes out is what's inside. And if you don't like what's inside, you can change it. But aren't there ever times, because I'm sure a lot of this audience feels, and those of you who are at home feels, that there are times when people do things to you. People do things to you when you are just the victim. Right? No. No. <laughs> Not right. No. People do things to you, of yeah. course, it happens all the time, but what happens to you in your life is you live your life inside. Yeah. And it isn't what people do to you, it's how you react to what people do to you that makes the difference between you being a fully functioning person or a victim. That's, that's the way it is in life. It's like when bad things happen out there, you can either uh, get a lesson from it. There are no accidents to me in a perfect universe. There are only lessons. Everything that happens is a lesson. And you either learn from it or you become a victim. You can't give away what you don't have. Now, it sounds ridiculous, okay? But it's more than what meets the ear as you hear this. You can't give away what you don't have. People who are not good at giving away love can't give away love because they don't have it to give away. If I want to give you a dozen oranges, I can't give you those dozen oranges unless I go out and pick up 12 oranges someplace. Otherwise, all it is is just empty rhetoric. And the same thing is true of virtually everything in your life. You can't give away love for others if you don't have love in here to give away. If what you have in here is contempt, if what you have in here is anger, if what you have in here is fear, then these are the things you're going to be giving away in your life.